The story of the difficult process leading up to the birth of the world's first test tube baby Louise Brown. Medicine is all of the technical and scientific studies applied to cure, alleviate, or prevent diseases and disabilities, and is a branch of science that often works miracles. Louise Brown is in fact one of the miracles of her time. As always, every truth begins with an idea falling to the ground. Scientists were perhaps given this idea by Aldous Huxley in his book Brave New World published in 1932, in which he talked about the mass production of human beings outside the womb, and the Bokanowski method was used to create nearly a hundred twin embryos from a single egg. Less than five years after this idea, scientists Pincus and Ensman of the General Physiology Laboratory at Harvard University, in their work on rabbits, managed to isolate an unfertilized egg, even going a little further by fertilizing it in a watch glass and reintroducing it into another female, thus successfully inducing pregnancy in an unmated animal. They then published a paper raising the possibility that mammalian eggs can develop normally in vitro. Time and technology were advancing. By 1965, Robert Edwards, along with Georgiana and Howard Jones, attempted to fertilize human oocytes in vitro at Johns Hopkins Hospital in the USA. Now that human experimentation had begun, scientists began to focus on the possibilities and the race was on to see who could be the first to achieve the status of God of Time. The world watched in 1973 as the first in vitro fertilization resulted in pregnancy, a historic moment reported by the Monash research team of professors Carl Wood and John Leeton in Melbourne, Australia, which unfortunately ended in an early miscarriage. The world was eagerly awaiting these results because about 15 out of every 100 couples in the world are unable to conceive a child for various reasons. Leslie and John Brown were among them. They had been experimenting with in vitro fertilization in various experiments, and, not knowing this, they decided to take part in the experiments. On July 25, 1978, everything went right and the first in vitro fertilization baby, Louise Brown, was born in Oldham, England. It was the result of the joint work of Patrick Steptoe and Robert Edwards. Thanks to Louise Brown, now 44 years old, and their pioneering work, physiologists Robert G. Edwards and Patrick Steptoe, posthumously, won the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 2010 for developing this treatment.